everybody just wanted to uh show another really quick video i think this was a uh, end the, the ending of robert kennedy's uh, one of his last speeches it says nobody ever complied their way out of totalitarianism the only thing we can do is resist let's have a look i'll leave you with three thoughts one is that any power that government takes from the people it will never return voluntarily number two rule every power the government takes it will ultimately abuse to the maximum extent possible and number three nobody ever complied their way out of totalitarianism the only thing we could do is resist that's right that's why people like me were telling the sheep to stop being sheep during a certain few year period a few years ago if you I think you guys know what i mean but this is why you just don't trust everything they say. When you trust everything the government says, you're not thinking. You're just going, oh, the propaganda is telling me what to do. I better listen. I better follow or else people might demonize me. Who cares? Fuck them. Let them demonize you. Let them be sheep. Let them get 18 booster shots. Who gives a shit? If, that, if that's what they want to do, fine. But when once force gets involved... Especially once stupid phrases like the my body, my choice, the liberals always talk about is go, really? You know how many nurses lost their job? Because they wouldn't get, you know what? Yeah. Was it, was it, was it, did those women have a choice? Was it their body, their choice, libtards? No, it wasn't. And they lost their livelihood for it. And now we find out. This certain medication was not even close to 100% effective. It's about 20% effective. The NIH, the CDC, the WHO have all admitted this. Do not comply. They're going to try something again. I don't know if it's going to be some disease or, or what. Fucking climate lockdowns or some bullshit like that. Who gives a shit what it is? Do not comply. Do not trust people who have massive amounts of authority and power. Like RFK Jr. said, you can never comply your way out of totalitarianism you have to push back end of story you have to understand that we are not the employees of, our, of the government they are our employees and they seem to think the other way around and the donor class knows that hey if we just keep giving these people money they're going to do what we say until we the people the average people have said no 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 there's way more of us than there are of you. We're the boss. And that's what needs to start happening to any politician, not just Trudeau, not just Biden, Trump, Pierre Polyev, Robert Kennedy Jr., whoever does it. This is not a partisan thing. This is common sense. Now, I sound like a conservative, but you know what I mean. Common sense would tell you to not listen to people who have a massive agenda with massive authority. Oh, I'm going to shut down a bank account if you donate to a protest. Are they shutting down the Palestinian protesters bank? Haven't heard of that. Why not? Well, it's not violent. They've literally screamed long live October 7th. That's not inciting violence. Give me a break. This is why liberals don't seem to know how to use their brain anymore. And this is what pisses me off about liberals. This is why I say I used to be one. Not anymore. And it's shit like that, that. That's what causes it. And that's why we need better politicians. Especially, I mean, I wish we had an RFK Jr. here in Canada. He'd never win because, again, Canadians are stupid. But it would just be really cool to have a chance. But at least you know, it's going to be Pierre Polyev. It's better than Trudeau or Singh. So we'll have to see how that goes up here. But um, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll be back very shortly with another video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.